Hi guys, so um, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Based on request from um, Raza, I'm gonna be creating a video on how you could do run an affiliate marketing website using um Blogger. So I'm gonna be teaching you how to run an affiliate marketing website using Blogger. So um, the process is not this um video is not gonna be scripted. It's just gonna come up from nothing. Like we're just gonna do everything from the beginning from scratch. So first of all, if you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel. Subscribe and if you have a video request, just make your request via the um, comments of this video. Via the commentary of this video. So make your video request on the commentary of this video. And if you have any request, I'll create the video as you want. So as I requested that I create a affiliate marketing tutorial video for him, that you need to understand how to build an affiliate marketing website using a um, blogger. So for this tutorial, everything I'm going to be doing is going to be free and. Um, the links are going to be in the description because a lot of people made some complaints that I don't give out free stuff. So from that henceforth, I'm going to be giving out free stuff to only those that subscribe. So please, first of all, you have to subscribe to my YouTube channel. As you can see, the payment or the product I sell on the description of my YouTube channel are what keep my YouTube channel growing. So um, let's dive into the tutorial first. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and let's go. So um, to create an affiliate marketing website, you want to go to Blogger with Blogger. So, if you have not created Blogger for the first time or you have not used Blogger before, this is what you're going to be saying, not this. Let me open this in the new Cognito tab. So, this is what you're going to be saying if you're using Blogger for the first time. It's going to say, publish your passion your way, create a unique blog easily. So, now you want to sign in or create a blog with your Gmail. So, Blogger is owned by Google. And so to do anything in Blogger, you have to sign in with your Google account. So that being said, you can make money from Blogger even though you are signing up with your Google account. It is free, but you can make a lot of money. At the same time, you can put in, you have to put in the work. So now let's close this part. Once you sign in with your Gmail and you enter your Gmail password, don't worry, it is safe. You'll be taken to this part where you will require to choose a name for your website. So let's call this... Um, Raza, okay, no affiliate marketing website. Now, once you are done, this is the name for your um, website. Click on next. Then you want to give your website a name. So I'm going to call this Raza Raza affiliate marketing. As affiliate marketing, as you can see, he actually requested this, so I'm gonna be doing this in his name. As affiliate marketing dot blogspot dot com. So as you see, Blogger gives you a subdomain, which is the dot blogspot dot com, as um as the domain name. So you, in whatever name you come up with here, you're gonna be adding their own name and adding dot com. So as you are done, you click on save. It's gonna process and create you your own website, and it's gonna take you to your website dashboard. So as you can see, this is our new blogger website. If you view the website, this is how it's gonna look. It's just gonna have your name and your icon at the side, and then this is how it's gonna look. So we are gonna be beginning customization. But before we start, let me explain what you have here on your left hand side. So this first part you see is create a new post. Now this is where you click on when you want to create your post for your website, your categories, and um, everything that has to do with it. Um, a view as read content from your website so that is where you go to in the post the next part you have your start your start talks about the analytics the number of visitors you have gotten on your website the analytics the number of people that have visited your website per time that is what your start talks about the next you have your comment this is this gives you the number of people that have visited, commented on your website the recent comment and those who are just commented this is where you reply them from your comment area the next part is your earning. As I said earlier, you can make money from Blogger by connecting Blogger to your Google AdSense account. So once you have written, written up to 25 or 30 content, you might want to sign up for AdSense so you can make money from your website. Uh, um, if you don't have an idea what is Google, uh, what Google AdSense is, I think something like this, yes. This an uh, example is Google AdSense. Google actually display ads on your website and then you make money from it. The next part is the pages where you create your page, like your about us page, your contact us page, your privacy policy page, your um, disclaimer page, your FAQ page, and so on. 
So your pages is where you create pages. All you just have to do is to click on new pages and you are done. Your layout, this layout actually gives you the, well, let's say the, the bonus structure of your website. So this is the structure of your website, how you can place and arrange everything on the front end of your website. The next, you have your theme. This is where you can edit or change templates if you want. As you can see, let me show you a brief example. If you go, scroll down, you're going to see um, the template area, which Google will actually give to you. So you can choose one from here, but I think these are all professionals. They need to update this um, template area. But you can pick anyone, and you're going to see the changes on your website. So let's pick this and see the changes on our website. Apply. Got it. So now, if you go to your website, you refresh. You're going to see the changes. See, uh, okay, this is the changes. You can see this is your popular post about me. This is the home session. This is if you want to edit from your front end. This is your sidebar. As you can see, it is just like it. So now, that being said, you have the last part, your settings area. So this is your setting area, which we are going to be going through right about now. So, also the last part is your reading list. I think nobody makes use of this, but it's where blogger actually drops a um, uh, li list of their recent updates and what they are just recently dropped. As you can see, this post was written six years ago, and they've stopped. They recently um, stopped updating this part. It has been two years ago. So now, guys, that is that from everything on your sidebar. So now I'm going to show you how you can start customizing it. So for customization, you want to start with your settings. Now the setting, this gives you a large range of covering on editing your front-end website. So the first part, you have the title, the title of your website, affiliate marketing website. That is what we call the title alarm. The next part, you have your description. Now this description, are, um, this is the description that you see on the top of every website, or let's say the slogan of the website. So you can say Raza affiliate marketing website you can talk about what your website is just give a brief history write them here you can write a lot of things about your website so this is just a tutorial so i don't i don't i'm not building a um website i'm going to use so for yours you want to write everything there so now you want to select your country language. How do you want your website to be written? In what language? As you can see, mine is in English because I'm in an English speaking country. For yours, if you're in Chinese, if you're in Arabic, if you're in Africa, if you're in, in um, um, Croatia, depending on your country, you want to choose that. Then do you want to display ad adult content? No, this is actually an affiliate marketing website. So you don't want to display adult content. You don't want requirement of age confirmation before someone visits your website. The next part you have your Google Analytics major ID, which is the first one, your favicon. Favicon is simply this, this smaller icon that you see on your website, on the top browser of your website. You scroll to this website now, you see the, there are little, little icon on the top bar. I don't think it's actually showing because my uh, my software is actually not um, displaying that part. But if you check the top bar, you see some little, little icons on your website. And um, the way you actually create that is to simply go to Google. As I said, everything we're going to be doing is we're going to be using free tools, and then we're going to do them from Google. So you want to type in Favicon Generator. Once you type that in on Google, you're going to see this one. This is the first, this is the one I actually make use of. Best Favicon Generator is Favicon. I want to click on it. Once you click on it, it's going to take you to the website. So I mainly use Test to ICO. You want to click on Close. And then it's going to take you there and it's going to ask you to um, start your design. So, our blog is just called Raza Affiliate Marketing. So, I'm going to call this ROZ. R A. Oh, R is okay. Now, I'm going to use a white. And then the background. Let's see the background. I think I'm going to be using. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, let's use a red. Background. So this is it. Once you are done, you want to make it round or circular or square. I think the round is okay. Then you want to change the um the font size, the font variant, the font family. You can do that here, but I don't want to do any of that. I just want to stick with this one. I'm going to click on download. 
and it's gonna download into my computer so I'm gonna wait for it to load and then take you back there so let's go back to our blog click on favicon now we want to upload the favicon the favicon is simply the little icon you see on your website so what you do is to click on the icon open it from your computer and I have this here I'm gonna be removing it from here so I'm gonna take it to where I can easily locate it let me put it here let's extract it so now once that is done I'll go back to my website I'm gonna click on choose file it's gonna open the folder and I'm, you're gonna look for the one that's actually okay as you can see this one is one called favicon I'm gonna choose this one click on open and once you click on open you're gonna click on save and you are done guys as you can see we already we now have our favicon if you can ah, which you can see up here you're gonna see that there's a favicon icon located there now do you want your affiliate marketing website to be visible to search engine you're gonna click that turn that on now this is the blog address we came up with now if you want to add a custom domain name custom domain name is simply adding a dot com or a dot com dot ng or a dot rn dot depending on your country um tdl you want to add it to the website or you want to add it to your website here so people can access you through a custom domain name example of custom domain name is v3 design dot com dot ng so you want to add something like this to this part and then you are good that's if you have already purchased it but if you don't have it, you can buy from this part or you can purchase from namecheap for with the link in the description so you want to make your website https redirect you want to leave this turn on because you want it to always be secure at all time blogs admin and auto do you want to add more auto if you want to remove yourself as the admin i don't think that's possible so that's that do you want to invite more auto you want to add more people to the um to manage the website for you all you just have to do is to put their email here and they are done so yes that is that for that a lot of these things actually does not really uh, matter so now you say the maximum post you want to show on your home page i like leaving it at max 50 so that my home page will be crowded with crowded with a lot of posts now once you are done with that do you want the image like boss yes comment yes you who can comment do you want people who has google accounts anonymous people to comment or only members of this blog you put them here as you can see that is that so the last thing i want to show you is if you want to add meta tags which actually help you show up on google so you want to turn this on and then add a search description for your website for example of search description uh, if you go back to google yeah i just wrote favicon generator as you can see the only favicon generator you need for your next project this is an example of the um, tags we're talking about here so if you fill this up you have the chance of showing up on google so those are that you want to enable robot tst file and en enable this and then monetization do you want to enable custom ads on your website yes that's if you don't want to use google ad you want to enable custom ads you can do that from this area so now once that is done once you turn it on let's assume you want to use adstera ads you turn it on you click here then you can put in your code here to verify your ads so now once that is done you are all good for monetization you have manage your blog you want to import demo content back up your content videos from your blog you want to add or remove video from your website you want to delete your website a lot of things are here guys so you really want to check them out so now we are done with this part if we could go back to our website to see that there's no changes just the same thing we did now the next thing you want to do is to look for a very good magazine team as you can see here is our um our well, description of our website we wrote so now i already chose one for us i found this one on google so that we don't have to stress ourselves because i said everything is going to be free you can check them on google so this is one i found on google Thinkuba blogger template i also have one guys which i did but i don't know if you guys are gonna like it i just did it for this tutorial so for my previous tutorial i just had to change some of the things and then put this one intact so let me put it let me go back to this one and show you okay this is the one i actually like love this one more it's called fletcher pro 
and I like the design more but a lot of people simply don't like it so I think I'm not gonna use this one I'm just gonna use a one we can get from Google so now let's go back now this is the one I'm gonna be using for this tutorial as you can see here is a demo of what we are gonna be doing so let's go back now we're gonna download it click on download so you can use any template for this guys you don't have to necessarily use the one i'm using you can use any template it's just an affiliate marketing website we are building so you don't have to use, um, to use every tools i use here right here you could use your own template and you could be good with it you could just download it from google and set it up so let's paste it here and let me extract it so think over think over think over let me look for it. Okay. Think, well, okay, this is it, guys. This is it. And this is the data. So let's go back to our website. Now you want to call to team. You want to click on this drop down. You want to click on restore team. And you click on upload. Now go to the website. This is the one we are using. Click on it and then click on open and as it says team restored successful you want to go back to the website and view the website how it looks so you're going to see the changes guys you're going to see the changes as you can see this is it now there's nothing on it there's nothing on it as you can see it's just like this there's nothing on it so i'm going to show you how you can customize it so the next point is you want to go to your settings click on the look for the upload data so because I want to use a demo data for this tutorial so import content click on import so I'm going to put this data from the, in the link in the description or if you download the template the data is going to come with it so this is what I use for my tutorial and now if we go back to the website refresh the website you're going to see that there's some content on the website okay this is it it guys you have some content on the website so this is it guys it is actually loading so you give it some time now let's start customization of everything here so let's go back now you go to your layout first of all we are building the website after the website before we can start every other thing so let's go first to the trendy videos I want to start from this So we have a label. Okay, let me look for okay, decoration. Uh, copy this label. Now go back. Whatever tags you have or whatever category you want to paste them here and click on save. So I'm sorry, I'm gonna change it. Hope you're following guys. Trade. So I'm going to click on save. So the next thing on the top bar is the menu. So this menu, you want to edit it. So go back to your menu. Look at this. So you want to check each of them one after the other to see which of them does not fit your brand. So you can actually remove it. So add that list. So these are some of the links that are on the header. So which of them do you don't like? Just remove them from this area. So I'm gonna remove some of them and just leave in few. Let's leave few. I think this is okay. So you wanna put in the links you actually want. So as you can see, <laughs> we don't have any link here, guys. So let's edit that again. Come down word, click on edit. So this can be your home page. This can be your about page. So you want to do them set each of them up just like this. And then you change the link to your own link and then once you're done click on save, save. So if we go back and refresh see we now have menus right here. So now 
I'm gonna check again. The next part is our header icon. So as you can see, the, the um our logo actually came from the template. So what you want to do is to upload your own logo. You want to create your own logo, either from Canva or just the one we did. So I'm gonna stick with one of these, which we made is all. Let me use this little one. As you are doing, if the logo is too big, you're gonna click on Shift to fit, and then click on Save. So if you go back to refresh it, you're gonna see that the logo changed to something this small. So you could make it bigger, but this is what I'm gonna be using for this tutorial. So now, once that is done, the next part we wanna work on is the sidebar. The sidebar. I wanna remove this. Subscribe to us. I wanna edit this followers and so on. So let's go back. First is the followers. Let's see. Okay. This is your social media icon. You can leave that. Next is your popular post. You want your popular post to appear. Yes, we're gonna put all time. Maximum number of posts. I'm gonna put five. I'm gonna click save. So once you click on save, that is done for that. Now latest tip. This is like the trending news, the same thing we did before. So you want to go copy any of your tags you have on your um on your blog or on your website you want to copy it then change this mini to it paste it and click on save so once that is done then the subscribe to us remember that the video on this subscribe to us part does not belong to us so we want to change that so go back turn this off I'm sorry for the noise guys, I'm sorry for the noise or the background, please bear with me. So I want to turn that up. Ads, do you have responsive ads on your website? Do you have ads on your website? Do you accept ads? Are you using ads? If yes, so you want to put your ads on this part. You want to um, put the ad codes right here if it's not Google Ads. So if it's Google Ads, Google Ads is automatic. But if it's not Google Ads, you're not using AdSense, you can put in your code on this part. So that is that for that. Then the nice part you have your comment. Do you want comments to show up on the right sidebar of your website, which is this part? If you want to, you leave it. If you want the main tax, which is the one we we're just looking at, looking at before, you can then leave it. Then if you come to this left part, you can see attribution. I really don't like attribution to be on my um, website, so I actually remove this when I make use of the blogger platform. Blog archive, I still don't like this. I'm gonna remove this. Labels, these are your categories. Report abuse, I simply don't like this. So I'm gonna remove this. Then about me, I still don't prefer this. Some people might. Um, I'm gonna turn this off and save it. Maybe one day I'm gonna turn it on. I don't know. So your blog post, your popular post, your future post. You might like this, which is the related post section, the about us, the followers. Then the footer link, the menu. You could edit this if you want to. Then that is that. So guys, that is that for that. For refresh our website, go to the home page. Let's go to our home page. We're gonna see this is our home page, guys. This is it. Um, I don't know why the images are not showing. Probably it's because of my network. But if you click on it, you're gonna see the images are actually showing. So guys, it is actually working properly. But um, if you were to ask me, I would have made use of this template which is one I already have on my computer so guys if you like this template you can make use of this template the reason I did that was because uh, I want every, wanted everything on the tutorial to be free so guys that is that so I'm going to use another template which I prefer which is the virtual pro I prefer it because it has a good design and it's quite unique so this is what we had before when we downloaded the template from Google and this is what we are going to be having now because i prefer this template guys as you can see this is my website now this is it this look cooler it look it looks professional it look more professional guys i prefer this to that now once you are done so i'm going to be using this for this tutorial i'm going to continue with this but if you want to you could stick with that there is no big deal with that guys so now what you want to do next is to go get your affiliate product so as you can see, these products are actually based on cushions and, and chairs. So it's more like an affiliate. Um, it's more like an affiliate link. Um, it's more like a product marketplace. I don't know why this is. Okay, let me refresh it. 
put like a product marketplace so i'm going to start with this one click on it now supposing this is your blog post guys i hope this tutorial is not too long guys i'm trying my best to explain this as fast as i can supposing this is your blog post and um, this is what you just written you want to go underneath it and then say something like get this product so now if you say get this product you want to copy your affiliate uh, marketing link so for mine i'm going to go to my impact.com affiliate uh, website a lot of people have different affiliate website they make use of for me i make use of um, impact.com so you could actually make use of them if you want to they give you link they are all they are all you want affiliate um, platform they give you link so you can actually create your own website um you can actually run your own affiliate marketing and then make money from it so i'm going to verify my account in a few minutes and get back to the video so i'm going to post this so as you can see this is my impact.com affiliate um, account um, so i want to go to the brands which i already have my brand and then you get the affiliate link from this brand so let's assume it's this one i'm working with liquid web check so assuming i want to make use of let's say So let's assume I want to make use of this on my sidebar. Which of them will be okay on my sidebar? Let me see. Okay, assume I want to make use of this on my sidebar. I'm going to click on it. Get add code. Copy the code. Now I'm going to go back to my website. So as you can see, there's an ad placement here. I'm going to take this one so guys we're going to come back to this first i'm just want to show you how to place them on your website so let's go to your layout now you're going to look for the ad code let's see oh, wow okay i saw it Okay, this is it guys i'm gonna click on it i'm gonna paste the ad code here i'll click on save so let's go back and refresh it and see if it's working perfectly let's see okay this is it so you are going to choose one that is actually um bigger or longer than this so you can make use of on your website so apart from that guys you could get a link let's go back let me go to views now let's get a link my brand so you could get a affiliate link from any company or you could go to google and type in um, top affiliate company and then you're going to see so as you can see create link this is my link i'm going to copy it copy and then in that post which we actually was writing which we are writing i'm going to click on edit i'm going to click on edit guys so i'm going to scroll downward now this part i click on get it wrote, get this product i'm going to put a set link i'm going to place it and i'm going to put on a no follow attribute then open this link in a new tab then apply so guys once you are done you want to click on update so now let's go back to our website and view how this is so now let's refresh so this is it guys so once you click on it you scroll downward also you can fill this ad placement with ads from your brand or you could make use of google ad so now once you scroll downward you're going to see the product now when people click on get this product they'll be taken directly to the website so guys this is it you're taking direct to the website so guys that is how you run affiliate marketing but once you want to ensure that your post actually convincing and it's actually um it actually leads to a sales because 
people actually want to be convinced before they purchase any product so guys on your affiliate marketing website you want to ensure that everything here are actually convincing and um, because this is a demo tutorial that is why I'm actually making use of this but for your own post you want to make sure it's actually convincing and people can actually read your content and make a buy decision so guys that is all for this tutorial guys I hope this was able to answer Razar's question on how to create an affiliate marketing website with um, blogger so you do the same for all your content ensure that you insert links into all of them I'm gonna be creating a concise one on how to create an affiliate marketing website using um, the WordPress um, WordPress yeah using WordPress so if you want to stick around you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and I post a video and please if you find this video interesting don't forget to hit the, sus um, the subscribe button and like this video and turn on the notification bell while I post videos so you can see more of it so guys I'm gonna see you on our next tutorial for now I think this is a wrap up for this tutorial so guys have a nice day everything I use in this tutorial I'm gonna be on the link in the description below so guys, don't forget, I'm going to see you on my next tutorial. Have a nice day.